but we haven't had any real discussions yet on the possible designs. I feel like I should get a few promising designs first, and then send them over to you to review. Eh, there's no need for all that. Let's decide on a design right now. Hey, you! Come over here with me. Modeling a few poses, of course. <laughs> here, just pretend to be callous, and I'll be Clementine. That's... um... Didn't you say on the boat that Callus and Clementine sounded like great partners? Well, then there's no one better to fill this role than my most valuable partner. Florent, let's grab some reference shots. You've got it, boss. I'll go get the camera. Well, what do you think? Got any ideas? Well, I've actually discussed it a bit with Florent before, but I could never come up with any fresh or original ideas. It's probably because my idea of them is already kind of set in stone. So, I want to pick your brain for a bit, and see if you can come up with some new and interesting ideas. I'm all good here, boss. Feel free to start posing whenever. Imposing, huh? Oh, I've got it. Let's try this. This pose! It makes me recall Spina de Rasula's glorious golden age. But isn't Clementine's pose a bit too... bold and heroic? Was she really that kind of person? If we were to stick with this pose, maybe people would wonder if she was actually the real boss behind the scenes. Well, tabloids did indeed speculate as much back in the day, but the Spina pulled a few strings and made both the report and the journalist, uh, disappear. Oh, Paimon was just kidding! Please don't make Paimon disappear! <laughs> what Florent meant was that we asked the journalist to choose a new alias. You're right, though, that this may not accurately represent the image of her in our hearts. Let's try to come up with something else. Ah... By that, do you mean as if we were standing on a boat and looking out at the sea? Sure, let's give that a try. Whoa, you really remind Paimon of a captain and their first mate! Look over there, my dear Clementine. As you can see, every tree on that island is dripping with mora fruit. Mmm, but there's something off with the composition. This pose makes Mr. Callus look too tall next to the lady. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, then let's swap. Well, Paimon is a fan. A statue like this would look fantastic on a boat. Wait, but uh, we can't do that. Very few people would see the statue if we were to put it on a boat. This statue is meant to be placed in the town. But then, since we're putting it in the town, the whole point of the pose would be lost. Oh, okay. We'll try to think of something else. A happy pose? You mean something like we were laughing together at a funny joke? Uh, would all that be able to come through with just a picture? Would we even be able to tell what they are supposed to be laughing about? Yeah, and that'd probably be a massive pain to sculpt as well. Hmm. Can one of you try striking a pose like you're talking while the other one laughs? Ugh, that actually sounds pretty hard to pull off. Forget it, let's try something else. We still got a lot of reference shots out of the session, and each of them can be considered to be a souvenir in their own right. Let's just keep the ideas we tried as backups. Man, if I knew I was going to do a photo shoot with the Traveler, I would have prepared a lot of outfits and props ahead of time. 